Saves the Day by Jeffrey McSkinner. The clouds were swirling thick and fast. The tattered sails flapped against the mast. The pirates swarmed the deck like bees. While Glass Morgan shelled the peas, she heard the racket on the deck above her galley. What the heck? She gave a sniff, winked at her parrot, then Glass Morgan peeled the carrots. She rolled her eyes overhead. The pirates fell, stabbed, shot, and dead. With mighty clumps onto the floor, Clad had heard it all before. I'll put an end to this, she blurted, before those silly men get hurted. She swallowed back her mounting wrath and quietly prepared for sloth. Then, half an hour after hence, when things on deck were mighty tense and men were smacking men with swords, Gladys Morgan faced the hordes and in a voice fat filled with dread, she held aloft her pot and said, You stupid cutthroats! Here's the thing. To make you stop this butchering. All loud and lusty rose the cries. It's Gladys Morgan's slot surprise. For Gladys was a cordon blue, and this was her renown. Sloth and stew. The rough and smelly pirates gobbled stew until their bellies wobbled. And before another shot was fired, they all lay down, completely tired. Gone was all desire for looting. No more did they care for shooting one another through the thorax. They thought of one word only. Relax. And with the pirates stuffed in blotto, Gladys thought upon her motto. While many cooks may spoil the broth, you can't go wrong with fresh stewed sloth. So Gladys Morgan gave a smile and looked it from their coats a while. Then, with her parrots, rode away, took a storm up, Saturday. Please note that no sloths were in fact injured during the making of this poem. Ha, ha, ha.